And good evening, everyone. I'm Cami Deerking. I'm Rob Braun. The disappearance and death of a service dog brought out the best in a lot of people who made donations and volunteered to search. But as Joe Webb shows us today, it also brought out the worst in some people and sparked a criminal investigation. When the people at Faithful Friends Pet Memory Center heard about Gunner the service dog's death, they decided to pitch in like so many others. They're donating cremation services and an urn. We're just, uh, we're hoping to do our part and make that, uh, first of all, just show him the respect that he deserved as a service animal and then show the family as a, as a veteran the respect that they deserve. Since the service dog disappeared from his lead January 12th, volunteers have searched and generous donors have offered rewards to find the Siberian Husky. He was a valuable asset to disabled veteran Brian Vallandingham. He knows when I'm going to have a seizure at least 35, 40 minutes before I do. There was a lot of goodwill directed toward the Vallandinghams, but there was also a dark side. Someone had taken their dog. Things got darker Monday afternoon when a caller to the Boone County Animal Shelter said a dead husky was near the railroad tracks not a quarter mile from the Vallandinghams' home. The family raced to the location and found Gunner. The Vallandingham family does not believe that Gunner was hit by a train. They are convinced that the dog was killed and then dumped here by the railroad tracks. And their suspicions are fueled by what happened a day before they found the dog. They got a phone call from someone demanding money for information about where Gunner was. They called the sheriff who launched an extortion investigation. Preliminary reports indicate a man named Dave demanded $100 on an iTunes gift card before giving out any information. He told Kimberly Vallandingham he lived in the neighborhood and was, quote, not innocent in the dog theft. The extortion investigation continues, but so does the kindness of strangers. In Walton, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. A number of people have approached the Vallandingham family to donate a puppy to replace Gunner. They made arrangements with a reputable husky breeder who agreed to let them have the pick of the litter of puppies that will be available next month.